Thank you for having me. Welcome to the Gracious Deaf. Yes. Okay. Please have it. Yes. It's beautiful. So we have an office full of colors. I love that. I really love that. So, so today we are going to have a very fun color session. Okay. Your, Which we have been waiting for. Um, yes. For a ages. <laughs> But you're finally here and I'm we're going to I'm finally here, yes. 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 So today actually is going to be fun because you're going to learn a lot about uh, how to change your mood with colors, how okay. to communicate with people yes. with colors. So, you know, for your workshop, for your presentation, there's certain colors to put your audience Things into together. a mood. Yes, yes. And yes. you're going to learn a lot about your personality. Okay, the which I would like to the, know. Yes. Yeah, I, I always want to know people what they think and what they analyze. So you're yes. the right today person. we're analyzing you. <laughs> For a change. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So first, I want to know what has your experience been with color? Like, what's your favorite color? Green. Green, Green is really, really my the one because I think this is deep gorgeous green that I I think it's related to nature because I hike a lot. Right. And I love green. I love black too, but right. green is really. Well, did you know green is the universal color of love? And you are all about love. <laughs> Lana, you yes. say, Ya Sabah al -hub. <laughs> Yes, okay, I didn't know that. Yes. I really didn't know. So, yeah, yeah. okay, and, that and makes me happy. Yes, and your connection to peace and nature is also re related to the color of me because you wow. create balance for people. So actually, this, this will is make why me cry. <laughs> really, no, to think cry. that I've already chosen something that yes. it relates to my subconscious. Yes, which is it is peace and love and kindness and to spread it around. Mm. Good. So did you know that 80% of our choice about colors uh, is unconscious? So that shows how instinctively there are certain colors you are drawn to because of the mood you are in inside. Wow. Yeah. It's going to be an interesting day. It will be. <laughs> Let's see. So Let's first, see. I will walk you through the session. Okay. So first, we'll ask you different personality like questions, what you like, what you don't like, where do you like to travel? Very fun questions. Yes. And then we will walk you through the process of the colors. So okay. we will introduce you to the basic colors of the different palettes, okay. and then we will walk you through your own personalized palettes. Okay? So are I'm you ready. You are ready. Okay, ready, ready. Yes. let's start. Let's start. Okay, let's go. Okay, so okay. now we're going to start with the fun questions. Okay. So you told me your favorite color is green yes. and black. Yeah. So we know why you like the color green. Yes. Now tell me why do you like the color black? Black is very classy and very subtle. Then you will always look good in black. So it's your safe color? It makes me look very nice. Mm -hmm and classic. Now, what are your hobbies and interests? What do you love to do? Traveling, mm -hmm. cooking, you know, discussion group with my friends. Mm -hmm. uh, do you like uh, watching movies? And walking. And walking. Yes, of Okay, walking. Movies, yes. I like to watch movies, but when I'm, I have time. What type of movies do you like? I like nonfiction, which is really, mm -hmm. you know, true stories. I like documentary a lot. I like crime. Crime? I love crime. Interesting. <laughs> Anything to do okay. with crime and jail. And jail, okay. That is before true story. <laughs> okay. And uh, I know you like dancing, don't oh, you? Oh, I love dancing okay. and singing. Oh, and singing. Oh, okay, yeah. so what type of music do you like? Classic. Arabic. I don't listen. Rarely I listen to English. Very nice. And I have a good voice, so I sing a lot. Okay, you must sing for us no. then, Wendy. <laughs> Great. Now, this is the next question, which is your favorite question, mm. is uh, where do you like to vacation? So whether you like beaches, countryside, or city. I don't like beaches. Okay. I don't mind it, mm -hmm. but it's not something I will pick. I, I am more nature. Okay. And I love resorts. Bali is number one for me. And... How would you spend your day, say, in a country that's new to you? What would you like to explore in this country? It all depends. If I'm going to a resort, mm -hmm. I just want to stay in the resort. Okay. Read and have massage. All right. That's all I do. 
If it's a city, of course, you get to know the city and get to explore what they have. So walk around the city. Uh, explore new e things, what they have. Yeah. Explore, the, explore the food. Oh, yeah. yeah. Of course. Of course. Shopping. Yeah. Okay. So you like to experience the culture? Yes. I don't mind a very local food. Okay. I, wanna, I always like to experience what the real people have, mm. not what they not do what it the to tourists. attract tourists. Yes. Okay, great. All right. Now we are going to talk about fashion. Mm -hmm. So describe to me your personal style. Classic. Classic. I do go into funky sometimes, mm -hmm. but mostly it's classic. And what type of fabrics do you like? I don't think I have a preference. You mm -hmm. know, if you're in the winter, you like the cashmere mm -hmm. and the wool. If it's in the summer, the cotton. Depends on the occasion and what and where. Okay. And is there any fabric like at all you don't like? I don't like linen. Okay. Anything I, harsh, I don't harsh, like. Yeah. Okay. I'm casual today. I'm very casual. Mm. Well, the colors you're wearing does tell me also which color group you may be in okay. with your style. Okay. Okay. Now it comes to jewelry. Mm -hmm. So, do you prefer uh, gold or silver? Gold. And gold. And do you like colored stones? I like diamonds. Diamond. So plain white diamond. I like yeah. uh, stones, of course. I love mm. stones. I like emerald. I like mm. ruby. But mostly, if I would have the choice, of course, it's diamond. Diamond. Okay. And uh, with your jewelry, do you like small, delicate pieces, or you prefer statement pieces? I like statement. So statement pieces attractive. And it has to mm. uh, suit my. Like I cannot wear big rings. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? Right. Right. I have to be convinced. Yes, I would not wear something I don't like. Right. Yes, of course. To make you, an statement. For fashion, it has to be something you are comfortable in. Yeah. It's an expression of your personality. Yeah. Yes, very true. Great. Uh, can you give me a little bit of background? Um, what have you studied? Well, I have done my high school in mm. the States, done English diploma in the States. I've done uh, the rest in the UK, mm. count coaching and uh, counseling and hypnosis and NLP, all that in, in, this, in, in, in the UK. London, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And currently you own your own business yes. with this life coaching. It is one of the part of one. it, because I'm a motivation speaker. Okay. And I'm in a uh, part of TV show. Mm -hmm. I'm an influencer too, so I'm many things. A woman of many talents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Now, this we will go back to actually your childhood and your personality. So, tell me, how was your personality when you were a child, like with your friends, with your teachers? I was the same, jumping yeah. around and <laughs> laughing okay. and very bubbly. Uh, I was ADD, I mean, I, you know, mild, but I was yeah. jumping everywhere. Yeah. So you were very, very, very active, very yeah. hyper. So now we're going to go into the interior of your home. No, first question is, okay, describe to me the current interior of your house. So you could say your living room. How would you describe it? My whole house, mm. if I could say, even the living part of the entrance is uh, filled with old, old carpets. So okay. it's rich colors. And I love wood, so I have a lot of wood. Okay. And the carpets are like 100 years old or 70 years old, and it's mm -hmm. all really, really pieces. Uh, my bedroom mm. is off-white with green, okay. which is my favorite, but light green. And of course, the parquet is all brown. Yes. Well, you have chosen very good colors for your room to relax. Yes, I need yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, now is the fun question. Uh -huh. Describe this to me. This was all fun already. No, this is even more fun. Yeah. So describe to me your dream home, regardless of where you can have it and how much it costs. What's your dream? Oh home? my God. Okay. I 
Can I have two? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you can have as many as you okay, want. So, I want a big house with at least five bedrooms mm -hmm. and a huge walking uh, wardrobe. Um, or what do you call it? Walk-in closet? A walk-in closet. I have now, but it's a small one. And then I would like to have a huge garden, all green. Like I now I have it, but in a smaller version. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's... And I want it in, near my children's house, which they're building now. Okay. So that's one thing I want. Then I would like to have a cottage uh, in somewhere that is so green, like Austria, or these areas, like, you know, mm -hmm. something very green. Or maybe Bali, but I don't know. I think Europe. I would like to have it in Europe. In Europe. Okay. But a small cottage. Okay. Three bedroom, but mm -hmm. a small one, cozy one, that I could run away alone. Escape. Alone. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite, traveling. And the interior would be... Uh, woody. Woody. Okay. Yeah. I'm very much a wood, wood person. And I appreciate wood a lot. Right, nice. And the colors you would also use would be like the deep colors you deep described. Colors. Yeah. In my cottage, mm -hmm. in my house, I like off-white outside. Mm -hmm. I like marble, mm -hmm. light color, maybe white all over because I want it to have a freshness. I love the entrance to be open and huge. Mm -hmm. Like That's really my kind of a house, to go okay. in, in the openness. Mm, full of light. Full of light and mm -hmm. green plants and carpets and okay. See, I told mm -hmm. you it was a very nice so question. Nice. Um, now I know you're like me. You're adventurous in coloring your hair. Yes. Okay. Today so, I have it highlighted with blonde. But originally your hair color is black or dark like, brown. Dark brown. Yeah. Okay. With a lot of gray hair now. <laughs> you and I trust me. <laughs> Great. Now we have our final question, mm -hmm. which is a fun question because I know that you love to cook. Oh, I so love So this cooking. involves cooking. Yeah. So describe to me a dinner party you would have in your house. Mm -hmm. So would you like it to be intimate or a, a big group of people? Intimate. How, okay, intimate. Mm -hmm. How would you present the food? I'll have it on the floor. On the floor. I love okay. on the floor. I put everything there, you eat it, and you're relaxed, and... Great. And of course, the music in the background, I can guess what you would have. Oh, so. so now we're done with the questions, mm -hmm. and now we will go into the diagnostic part. Okay. So now we're going to show you which metal best suits your skin tone. Okay. So first we'll start with the silver. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now notice your skin and notice the color of your veins, okay? okay? So sometimes you see that when we put a certain metal, your vein looks more prominent and mm -hmm. your skin looks pale. Okay. All right, so notice how it looks with the silver. Okay. Okay. Now we'll put the gold. Did you notice the difference? I love gold. <laughs> yes, but did you notice the difference? It became much lighter. Yes. And you have pink undertone in your skin. Okay. So when we put the silver, if you notice, see how dark it got? Mm. See how prominent it is? And your skin looks very uneven. Okay. So this is how you know which group you are in because mm. also certain metals belong to certain groups. Okay. okay. So now look straight into my eyes. We're going to see what color uh, your eyes are, which puts you in a certain category, wow. okay? So currently, I see, I see lovely colors. Mm -hmm. So you actually have yellow streaks oh. and brown eyes. Yeah, wow. Yeah, great. Okay. okay, so now we are going to um, make you have a look at the different four color groups that we have. Okay. Each one of them, as you can see, has a certain hue of colors. Yes. So I want you to first tell me which group first attracted you. You can tell me even if there's one particular color in a group that what attracted you first. Okay, the gold it will. Okay. The green there or this green. Mm -hmm. These two green because these are not my green. I'm not a pink person. Mm -hmm. So the purple will go. Okay. The, mostly is this one. But mostly the, the first group. Yeah, but most I like it more the green, this color and that color. And that color. Okay. Without the beige. 
All right. It was a big fan. And what is your feelings towards these two groups? I like the red. Mm -hmm. Maybe the blue. Mm -hmm. This one, mm. not attractive at all. Okay. Okay, now we're going to see what colors do when they reflect against your skin. Okay. So first we test one side of this is white and one side of this is off-white. Okay. Okay. Now the three areas I want you to concentrate, no matter what color I put, is under your eyes, the cheeks, and the color of your lips, even if you have lipstick on. Okay. Okay. So when I put the color, I want you to look straight in the mirror and see how it reflects. Do not look at the color down. All right. So first we'll start with the white. Okay. Notice under your eyes, your cheeks and your lips. Okay. Now we will do the other. So. Can you see now how dark it got under your eyes? So you notice with, with your skin tone, you'll notice it's got darker under your eyes. Mm -hmm. Around the mouth, there is more uneven skin. Okay. But when we put the off-white on for you, okay. notice how pink your cheeks are. Mm -hmm. Even your lips look darker. Okay. So your white is more off-white. Off -white. So anything with a yellow undertone. Okay. okay. We're learning. Yes. Now, since you said your favorite color is green, we will test the greens from the different color groups. Okay. 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 From these three, which is your favorite and which is your least favorite? This is my favorite. Okay. And this is least. The least favorite. Okay. So first we'll start with the least favorite. So this green is from the Dream Light Personality Pack. I don't mind. Now it's notice, nicer here. yes. So notice what happens to your skin. Okay. Can you see how your lips are very pink? Okay. And also your cheeks. Now we'll choose another palette. Now this is from the Starlight palette. Okay. Did you notice how dark it got under your eyes, and also uneven okay. the skin? Then we have the third palette, which is the morning light palette. Mm -hmm. no. oh, I love green. Notice <laughs> how, see how even your energy, it just became vibrant. Yeah, because of the yeah. freshness. Yes, can you see your cheeks, your lips are really dark. Exactly. And finally, your favorite, which we picked. Okay, and this is the fire light. Okay. So Although notice, I think the other one made it more brighter. Yeah. So actually, you are a combination of a morning light, which is this one. Mm -hmm. See how vibrant it looks? Mm -hmm. Okay. And a dream light Allah, personality. Kill her, kill her. All, dream I, I light personality. Her. Okay. Because, dream light personality. Yeah. Because notice this is how dark your this lips are. This is a very rich. It's, settled. And this is the sophisticated side. Because oh. they're known as the diplomats. Oh, who, who? Yes. I don't think I'm a diplomat. No, there are certain situations you are. <laughs> you know, the blunt side, by the way, is your morning light personality. Oh, okay. I mean, you're very diplomatic. Yeah. <laughs> Me, I'm like... <laughs> so this is why you like, like, culture and, yes. you know, exploring things. Yes. Um, you love classical Classic, music. Yes. This is from yes. your dream light yeah. side. Now, if you notice, I want you to see. Now, this one, the starlight, can you see? It's very dark. It made me look dull. Dull, exactly. Strangely, yeah. Yes. So, this is how you assess, even when you don't have your color palette, how you assess whether it's your palette or not, oh, is yeah. always notice these three areas. Is it? If that, it that, yes. That. If it makes your skin uneven, it is not your palette. Okay. If it makes your skin look like this, that means it is your palette. And, and you can see also, your body language, you feel relaxed. Oh, this yeah. I like the other one too, the fresh yes. one. The morning light. Hey, the morning yes. light is, uh, pick, it picks up your mood. Yes. <laughs> yes. You can see now, see, when I put this, even though you liked it visually, yeah. when I put this on, it can you notice you how uh, heavy yeah. 
it it yeah. makes you look very heavy. Yes. Yeah. So interesting. Very interesting. I like that. Yeah. So now we're going to do an entire palette that is purely for a morning light and dream light personality. Let's go. Okay. Great. So first we'll start with the morning light palette, which okay. as you can see, very nice, vibrant colors. Yes. Now one thing about the combination of personalities, not everyone is the same because there are subtypes of these combinations. Okay. So say you and I have the same color personality, but our subtype could be different. Okay. So that means sometimes that maybe darker colors look better on me, but maybe lighter colors look better on you in our same palette. Okay. Okay? So now this is the easy part. Basically, I will put colors, as I told you, you look at the three areas and how you feel actually as a mood and you tell me yes or no okay so this is very easy okay so first we'll start with the purples okay do you like yes. this one this is a yes so this is your yes basket <laughs> and then we have a no basket on the left okay this one i would go for no for no okay. no this is a no Although I might pick them sometimes to wear, but... I want you to experiment. Some that you feel maybe... Maybe that one. This one. The maybe this one, yes. The blue one. Yes. I could go for maybe this, but not this. Not the light one. No, this okay. is new. No. All right. Here? Yes. Allah. Okay, now we start with the blues. Okay. Yes. Now, some colors that are like this, which are very br bright, I don't want you to think of it as an outfit. I want you to think mm. of it as a contrast, accessories, something in small proportions. No. So, so, okay. And the colors that I put, I want you to think of different uh, parts of your day that you wear these colors. Yeah. So some for loungewear, some for, uh, uh, for out uh, evening, some for, you know, exercise. Now I want you certain colors, I will uh, guide you through it because okay. this, if you notice, your lips are very dark yes. and your cheeks are really pink. So they're really bringing out the vibrant part of you. Yeah, maybe we need to change so, some of my... Yes, so I want you to experiment with this one. Okay? Okay. Right. I'm not sure, but it's okay. We'll okay. experiment. Now we go into the greens that you love. <laughs> yep. You never thought there would be so many greens with you. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is stunning on you. No. It could go yes. This is yes. Yeah. I know. And this is no. Oh, it's more yellow than green. I would not see it green. But I would see. experiment with this one too. Yeah, okay. Because you look very vibrant. No, as I said, this is your contrast. So this would be like a, a, scarf. a scarf or okay. a popping scarf earrings, yes. fun earrings. Yeah. 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 This is a yes. <laughs> Already, see? Yeah. Already, <laughs> this yes. is what I love about colors. You yeah. just love it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See? Yes. Yeah. Of Glowing. Yeah. Think of yeah. beautiful pink dress. Yes. Yeah. Resort dress. Resort dress. Yeah. yeah. That, I have a nice one, the pink one. Yeah. Almost the same. With a beautiful yellow yes. flower in your hair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, yes. 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 These are all yes. These are all yes. Yes. Because yeah. it's very fresh. Yeah. Yeah. So see, for someone who doesn't like pink, you picked all the pinks. Yes, I picked all the pinks, <laughs> yes. Now I want you to compare one second between these. Okay. Yes, of course. This one, of course, yes. And it would be a nice lipstick, by the way. Yeah. Okay. This one, yes. Now, I want I you to them. compare between this and between yeah. this. But notice your face. When I put this, it gets darker. Yes. But when I put this... It's not something I would like to wear. Okay. Well, put on. Lipstick, maybe, but mm. not... Uh... But this one, you are happy with. It's dull, mm. but it could go with a shawl, a t-shirt, a scarf or yeah. something like that. Okay. 
So now we have our peach colors. You're not a fan of it. This I agree with you, no. But this one gives you color. So these are more for your winter browns, your yes. sweaters. Yeah, I like this. Yes. Camel colors. Like, ca like camel and like caramel colors look really good on you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, of course. Yes, yeah, see? All vibrant. I was looking for a pant in that color. Yeah. Yes. yes, this is really nice. So yeah. yes to oil. Yes to oil. This is too yellow for me. Now this is your contrast. Yeah. So this would be, as I said, like accessory or like swimwear. <laughs> no, this one yes. This one I yes, more on. toned down. Yes. This yeah. one's a yes. yes. So this is a yes. Yes. This, this is, is a no. yes. And this is a no. Okay. So I hope you had a what fun an experience. experience. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been waiting to do this for a very long time, and this is very new experience for me to get to know the colors. Like I didn't know that the off-white it goes more with me. Um, where to look for colors? Now I'm more aware when I go and buy something to check what you told me. And the other day I had an. Um, I had to choose what to wear. I said, I have to call Fatma <laughs> to tell her what should I wear, which color I should take. But anyway, I'm, I'm getting to learn this. It's very interesting, yeah. very interesting. Your, your, your work is really like another world, huh? Yes, it is. Yes, the, it's something the world different, of, the world of colors. The world of colors is very vast. And as you yes. saw, it is not only like what you wear. Yeah. There is a lot about like your personal personality. And when you put the yellow, mm -hmm. And you said it was it will give you more, and I thought nah, but then it did. It mm. really made me. I was tired. Yes. And it picked up that uh, thing. And, so and I have to go and buy, wear uh, yellow today. That is what I noticed because I was noticing that you were starting to get tired. Yes. Because from the vibration, it is overwhelming. Yeah. Okay. So what I usually do when because people have two personalities, yes. we said. So I always give them a break between each uh, color group because. They need to take in the vibration they took from one group okay. and, then and then separate. And then take a break it. and then yes. okay. And separate. No, it. and amazing. Okay. Really, I think it's a, it's totally another world. If you really want to explore yourself in a different way, this is it. Like okay. you know, you to get to know uh, what you feel with colors, to get to okay. know what you feel with colors, what why you like this color, why you don't like this color, what suits you. Mm. I think this is an amazing experience. And also what emotion you have with the color. Exactly. Because you were very expressive about the green. <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But I do have news for you. Okay. You do not have black in your palette, unfortunately. I know. Yes. So your black, actually, would be your dark navy blue, your dark brown, your dark green. Okay. That represents the black. And also, there's a misconception that people think that black makes you look thin. It is actually any dark color makes you look yeah. thin. So but it is black not only is like black. really, like you feel it. You feel it. You feel but it. But no, dark, you're right. Dark makes you look thin. You know why people are very drawn to black? It's because they feel secure. It's a secure it's color. Safe. It's safe. You so can it's add like anything and you will look good. Yes. yes, but people also use it psychologically as a protective barrier. Ah. Sometimes when you want to feel powerful, you wear the color black also. So most of the time, right? Yeah, so most of the time. <laughs> well, okay. thank you thank very you. much thank you for, for joining us at the Gracious F. And I hope you enjoyed your session. I did. Thank I you. did very much. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much.